The purchaser is Hans Teta, the local level government president of Menyamia, who wasn't available to be interviewed. He told MTV News yesterday that he assisted the legal tenant to move out of the property by paying him some money so he could move into the property at Salamander Street in Lay. The NHC acting provincial manager Matthew Limu said the office wasn't aware of the arrangement between the legal tenant Peter Ponito and the purchaser Hans Teta. However, Limu said he went ahead and gave Teta the legal tenancy title to occupy the property last week because the office wanted to collect their income. Or eviction notice are coming them summons, you will court past them, the courts are giving order. National notice are come out. National notice and no got summons. This is the property that is currently being occupied by Peter Ponitu's son, Amos, who was served an eviction notice from NHC almost two weeks ago to vacate the property as he wasn't the legal tenant. Amos is the biological son of Peter Ponitu, a former employee of Lay City Council who was accommodated here by the Lay Urban LLG, who was given title to this flat by the government on the 7th of May 1990. The NHC's acting provincial manager, Matthew Limu, told MTV News yesterday that the NHC is the owner of this property and not the Lay Urban local level government. When MTV News asked for records on their title of the property, Limu said he couldn't provide it because the titles for all the NHC properties in the country is being withheld by the Registrar of Titles. Housing Corporation is uh, going about uh, recouping uh, properties nationwide. For Salamander alone, uh, I think we need to uh, open up and uh, have a dialogue. Huh? They have to uh, show us their record, what they have in there, and we have to produce our record because I've got a record in place uh, to justify that uh, those properties were legally transferred. According to the NHC acting provincial manager Matthew Limu, the legal tenant Peter Ponitu submitted a letter to NHC office on the 25th of November this year to remove anyone living in this property. After the letter was cited by the office on the next day, the matter was brought to Mr Limu's attention which he legalized the tenancy title to the council president three days after the letter was cited by the regional manager. The legalizing of the tenancy title to the government property happened within a week. Julie Badui Owa, National MTV News, Lay.